Hey everyone, and welcome back to Shadyside Library. Today, I'm going to be talking about an author I don't think I've ever spoke about on the channel. And that is... Dean Koontz. A very controversial author. And I say that because... A lot of people hate him. And I'm here to defend him. So, if you guys have been around for a while, you know I, I took like an eight month break from YouTube and I still did a bunch of reading during that time. I just wasn't filming videos because I was really sick and I didn't have motivation. I'm very depressed and, and uh, I've, I've improved since then. Um, and so I really enjoy sharing videos now and it, it helps put a smile on my face. That's why I'm sitting behind the camera right now. Anyways, I'm gonna give you guys my top five Dean Koontz books because in that little break from YouTube, I kind of came up with a little Dean Koontz obsession and read almost a dozen of his novels, like all in a row, just like back to back to back. I like, he like suddenly became one of my favorite authors. He's just so easy to read. And I came up with the top five list I want to share with you guys. He has so many books, and I have not read a lot of them. But this year, I do want to read some more of them because it's been a while. And I actually managed to put together a list of five in order. Usually that stresses me out. So I just say my favorite Dean Koontz books. But I actually have an order for you guys. So... Starting at number five is going to be Demon Seed. This is a very, very, very early on novel that he wrote in the early 70s, and then he kind of rewrote it a little bit in, I think, the 90s. I'm not sure. This is the, like, revised version, though. I read the revised version. And basically, it's about a girl who lives in a mansion with all this technology, you know, AI, and it completely turns on her and traps her in her own house and starts trying to get to know her and wants to get to know her like sexually and like intimately and just wants to become human for her and it is creepy it creeped me out I gotta say for the just barely 200 pages of this book, I was, I was creeped out. And to write the, something like that in like the early 70s, he predicted some pretty terrifying stuff because I could see that happening nowadays with AI. I don't know. It's scary. So I enjoyed that. It was a, it was a thrill ride. All right, next up, this one might be kind of controversial. But, TikTok. So this one, I just jived with. It's not like a super well-written novel. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing special. It's just about a demon doll, a demon rag doll that attacks this couple. And it's funny. It's scary, it's romantic, it's entertaining, it has every element in it, and that's what I like about this book. It gave me a little bit of everything. It made me smile, it made me laugh, it made me go, whoa, and get scared. And, and so yeah, it's basically a chase story of this couple who is running from what they call a minikin. And it just shows up on his front porch, and then it, it kind of just escalates from there. And I, I had so much fun with it. And believe it or not, as a gift, when I was obsessed with Dean Koontz, my girlfriend found this on eBay. And, you know, I guess he signs a lot of books, but for pretty cheap, uh, she got me a signed copy of this book. I don't know if you can see that, but it just says Dean Koontz, 
1997. So, yes. Very good book. I, I personally enjoyed that one more than most people probably would. All right, number three on the list. This is a heavy hitter. This one he wrote in the 2000s that a lot of people love, and, and I can see why, and that is Odd Thomas. This is simply about a fry cook who can see dead people, and he's only like 20 years old, and he's so humble, but basically he has this ability to see dead people and feels like he always needs to save the day. So he's kind of like a superhero in a sense because he has this sixth sense. And it's told from the point of view of him. He's just basically telling the story of what happened. This is actually a huge series. I think it's seven or eight books long. And I've read the first three. Uh, this one was definitely by far the best. And then they get kind of not as good. They kind of fall off a little bit. But uh, I enjoy the character. It was just such a simple read. And this one's pretty thrilling. You know, it, just the concept is unique. And the character is lovable. You know, Odd Thomas. He's got, he's just so humble. And he's like a, a human superhero. And I grew to really like him. And that's why I read the next few books. And honestly, I, uh, I really want to finish out the series. So, Odd Thomas, give it, give it a shot. It's a well-written book. It's one of Dean Kuhn's most popular books. Next up, this is also one of his most popular books, and this is number two on my list, and that is going to be Intensity. This one is just a straight-up thriller. I mean, it is, a, it is also a chase story, in which I love, and this is as terrifying as thrillers get. I mean... Dean Koontz, I've watched a lot of interviews with him. I find him an interesting guy. And his father was a diagnosed psychopath and abused him and did terrible things to him. And he had a really, really rough childhood. So he tends to write about psychopaths. And let's just say he does it incredibly well. He does it in a lot of his books, but he does it best in, in intensity. This is a page turner. It's a thrill ride from beginning to end. And it has a, a really a fun gal that you get to follow, but you, you're scared for her. I mean, I, I remember being terrified for her the whole book. I mean, I was like, oh my gosh, like I, I'm actually not sure what's gonna happen. Is this girl gonna survive? Like, I don't, I don't know. So yeah, Edgar Vess, I'm pretty sure is his name, but that's the villain, the psychopath, the serial killer who is after this girl. And yeah, it's 300 pages, or no, 400 pages of just pure intensity. So that's number two on my list. And number one, um, I feel like is overlooked. Uh, this is, this one's called Dark Fall. And I fell in love with it because it's another chase story. Uh, but it's got some supernatural elements. Whenever someone described it to me, I was watching a top 10 Dean Koontz video, and someone was like, this one's about demon rats. And then they just put the book down. And so I picked up that book, and I was like, "I that sounds awesome. Well, it's like a, a more of a supernatural entity rather than rats, but um, it's it's about a cop and he's got to save the day and it turns into this chase story with this supernatural entity and it's really scary. I mean, and it's called Dark Fall because I think the majority of it takes place at night in one night and it's, it's very scary. So I thought it was scary and well written and it's just one I won't forget. I mean, those little demon rats is what that one guy described him as, but uh, I don't know, it, these demon creatures, I, I love a creature feature, and I thought that 
this one does it well. So, and it's a beautiful pink cover. Anyways, Dark Fall is my favorite Dean Koontz book. I'm sure this list will change. I uh, have plans to read some more uh, Dean Koontz this year. And I have plenty of his paperbacks because I got kind of addicted to buying them because they are so cheap. And even the hardcovers are cheap, so I'm not going to lie to you guys. I just ordered some hardcovers off eBay for really cheap, and I might do a book haul. I'm not sure if y'all would want to see all, a bunch of Dean Koontz books, but I might just do it for me, um, just to document it. But I am definitely going to be reading more of him. If you have any of his books that you don't want, let me know, because a lot of people tend to hate on him. Uh, but I think he writes a, a very good thriller. And I think he writes humor well and romance well. And he incorporates all those different elements into each of his books. And you get a little bit of everything with Koontz. It's not all horror. It's not all one thing. So I highly recommend trying him out if you haven't already. But yeah, fun fact, I'm into Dean Koontz, so send me your Dean Koontz books. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this top five. Let me know if you've read any of his books, or you recommend any of them, because I'm not sure which one to read next. And yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out, and have a good one.